Welcome, everybody. Hello, Jan. How Hello, are you? Kiko. Welcome, everybody. We are Jan de Sopo, myself, Jose Ramos Santana, uh, live from the Canon Club and, and, in San Juan, and Puerto Rico. I always forget Capriche, but he's always here. Yes, I know. Yeah, and you might have to sing a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> we are at the gallery, the uh, head of the Stanway Society, Jan de Sopa, at the house of the Stanway Society. And uh, just to remind you that you have to, you can, you have to uh, follow us and watch us at the Canon.club, uh, subscribe to our, our YouTube channel, uh, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Instagram. And we, and have, we have wonderful what? people who I think it's such a pleasure. We are having, we're so honored to be yes. able to bring them to you, to from all over the world. And as a matter of fact, we're in Moscow. We're in Moscow today, today. yes. Moscow yes, today. Moscow. And this right. is truly uh, such fun to bring you uh, interviews with uh, uh, the most wonderful uh, performing personalities from around the world. We're happy. Yeah. And yeah. are we ready to? Yeah, are we ready to? Yes. Yeah. Let's turn We're this on. Going off. with our guest, Pavel. Pavel Nersesian. He's joining us from Moscow. Pavel. Mos hello. Moscow. Are you there? Moscow. There you Moscow are. Moscow. Can you see me? Yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Speak some Russian. Speak some Russian. <laughs> Dobry vecher. <laughs> Buena noche. Oh, lovely. Oh, this is a this is a very very typical Russian church, and this is a very good painting, and this ah. is a great house, uh, which represents one of the style of outside big cities, Russian uh, kind of country countryside living. So I, I'm lucky to be here during this strange time because Moscow is not very welcoming now. We have, you know, we have everything. Uh, which we know, which you know too. Yeah. So and the regime is slightly better here and I have very, very good friends. I'm staying at theirs and I'm enjoying that. But I'm so happy to see you because I spent three, three, three best um, days uh, of, of this year, at, at least of this year or probably, probably of the whole century in uh, your uh, gallery in and with your company and our company of Janice, company of Campeche and the whole team. That's not just only two people uh, and, and the bird, but also it is a huge team of people there. So I'm very happy to see you. <laughs> so, We're so happy that you could join us. Thank you so much for joining us. It's an honor to have you. We're, uh, we're sitting right in front of the piano that you played yeah. when you were here. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, February yeah. 14th. Yeah. It was February yeah. 14th. Mm. It was It was Saint Day. Valentine's Day. Yeah. Yeah. And wow. you and uh, Boaz gave the most wonderful mm -hmm. performance. It was magnificent. <laughs> we loved hearing Rachmaninoff. That's we heard, wonderful. Oh, it was wonderful. <laughs> we had a great time with you. So yeah. how are you coping with this whole situation, difficult situation? How's, uh, you know, how? Uh, you know, personally, it's a kind of tragic thing. I don't feel happy now. Mentally, I'm able to um, to find some good things in, uh, in this confinement uh, to show that to show, to feel that I have a long-awaited uh, uh, relax, and I don't need to practice. Uh, but uh, still, uh, you're we not are practicing. In the... <laughs> no, no, I don't need to because uh, there is no no concert you planned. Everything no I had, no stay. No, I, I had plenty of things planned for the whole summer, but everything has been cancelled, yeah. and I simply don't need to practice until at least September, probably. But it's not the first time in my life. I remember I spent three hour, three um, summer months in uh, in uh, plage or beaches and not practicing at all. And then I suddenly noticed that I feel hungry for my job. I feel. Uh, inspired for every note, so uh, probably that's something positive which we can find here. And well, oh, a little, a 
little a little Russian yeah, dog we have barking. To, yeah, we have <laughs> our, our own See the dog talking. Yeah, we can Yeah, he's talking yeah. to you. <laughs> yeah, oh. I think he's talking to the food mostly, not to me, because I'm not bringing food, so it means I'm, 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 it's dinner time. Not, not enough interest of that. But it's he is a beautiful <laughs> guy. Look. Oh, let's see. Oh, look at him! Wow. <laughs> Nice. It's, it's wonderful to be looking his around name, the house. His name, you will be surprised. His oh. name is Leo. Almost like Tolstoy. Leo. Oh, wow. <laughs> Leo Tolstoy. Leo Tolstoy. <laughs> it's okay. So I had a cat named Pushkin. So. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I like this name. Pushkin, Pushkin, come Pushkin, here. Pushkin. I have some food for you. Yeah. <laughs> Pushkin. <laughs> Campeche is responding. Anyway, oh, uh, Campeche oh. made a huge impact on my on my poor soul in because he was feeding me with with leaves and it made me uh, you know people are already tired of my stories about Campeche here in Moscow. <laughs> <laughs> you're famous stole... in Moscow, Campeche. You yes, see, you're already famous in <laughs> Moscow. <laughs> Well, I've heard well, like you wonderful. should be famous that's everywhere, wonderful. right along with Pavel. <laughs> oh, so, so yes, lovely so, to be. Mm -hmm. In your re when we come come back to normality, you you are a, the fa part of the faculty of the Boston University, right? And so you will yes. be coming back to Boston. Do you still? Teach? Yes, I hope so. Yeah, you would still teach between Moscow and Boston, or yes. uh, what is your arrangement? Uh, you know, I'm full time in Boston, and I'm going to go on. Uh -huh. And uh, I'm, I'm half time in Moscow, and now we still have some semester ending, semester ending, and we have juries and exams now. Currently, of course, everything is online in Moscow, right. and it has it has been fi already finished in uh, in Boston. So my position is quite vulnerable nowadays with all these travel bans and unpredictabilities with quarantines, etc. Uh, yes. So, but I do hope it will go back to normality at least in some in some foreseeable uh, time because our profession is based on travel and all yes, this piano competition absolutely. all the all reputations right. and actually even money is based on our travel so mm -hmm. uh, the situation cannot really yeah. go on to for too for too long time and i'm very very positive about some good news for example yesterday i got a letter from italy which was very very badly hit by yes. the covid mm -hmm. covid pandemic that they still have uh things uh, festivals and open lessons scheduled for august and oh, they good. will take place yeah in in life Very so nice. the only problem now is to how to get there yes yeah, the travel <laughs> oh dear <laughs> well you can start walking yeah, so now we, you can start walking <laughs> yes we'll get there by idea. august yeah. it I might be there by august I I <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, but uh, this is a good good news, it, and it is it is it will be in Verona, and they are very proud to report that there are no new new cases and new casualties casualties of this disease, uh, and uh, so that's very positive. That's good. That's very very. Good. And mm -hmm. I heard something that I wish to share with you all. Today. Please. Yeah. The a, a doctor of the birds came today, and he said that. Pfizer is working on a vaccine that is looking mm -hmm. very promising, very promising mm -hmm. for the next few months. Oh, wow. That's to great. hopefully. Yes, I've heard, I've heard several reper repercussions about that. So we are all expecting that. Also, I suspect I heard some very good news about just pills about that, not vaccine, vaccines, vaccines, but uh, about a good treatment, which is more predictable. So it is already a cure. Yeah. So you see, it's the problem, yeah, yeah. I hope so. The problem is that our audience is mostly uh, a, a group of people who can be easily hurt uh, or easily scared by the possibility of that. Right. So we need to to really appreciate them and to treat them very well and to love them. Exactly. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Speaking of Italy, I was listening to a beautiful. Villa Borghese concert that you gave there, some beautiful Schubert. 
<laughs> impromptu. So yeah, that was in Rome. Yeah, it was in Rome. October. Why let's we, hear this man play. Let's hear this man play. And then play we come back and Borghese. talk. Because it's I beautiful. think it's, it's, it's such an honor to be with the performer, talking yes. with you. And now we're going to Into hear here, right what you play. Yes, yes. So, Thank so you. we start with the Schubert? Wonderful. Yes. Yeah. Schubert all right with you? <laughs>
Wonderful, beautiful. Oh. Wow. You have to tell the audience, where are we? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, Puerto Rico, Rome, Moscow. You choose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whatever, whatever. No, that whatever. is wrong. Uh, yeah. We are mostly in the Schubert space because the Schubert was was now played. So it is so powerful. This this music is so beautiful. I feel there that I belong now, not to this geographical place, but to this music first. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. What a beautiful place! How inspirational to play, you know, and this beautiful art all around you, and that, those frescoes at the ceiling, just incredible. I was busy playing, so I I actually missed this place because I didn't have enough time to. Ah. Everybody, there were many guests invited to this to this uh, piano recital, and they were lucky to to have uh, stories about what it is, uh, what it was. I mean, uh, Villa Borghese on these paintings, and especially exquisite um, Bernini sculptures. Right. But I, I missed all of that. <laughs> yeah. So I was... It's so interesting. Sometimes we go to these places and we go in and out. We play and we go out and we really don't have time yeah. right. to... You know. It's our lives. You know, at least know. we're there. Mm -hmm. At least we're there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's our lives, and I so know. I really hope yeah. hope that it will happen one um, good day in my life that I will go there without rushing, right. and will enjoy every millimeter of this thing, which I I was lucky enough to enjoy at some other places in Rome, which I love. I was twice last year. I was twice in, twice in Rome and. It was a big, big, big change of my life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Rome is, is fantastic. Well, that's yeah. absolutely crazy wonderful. place. Crazy, crazy place. place. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Probably really crazy now. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh my God. It's wow, already just, better than a little, a little bit better. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. You don't. Yeah, it's hard. Uh, so tell us a little bit about you, your career, where did you study, uh, the prizes that you have won, all of that. So we share with the what, audience. What, I, what I can find more interesting, the more probably important, that uh, the, now the situation is strange. I feel that my profession is kind of old-fashioned. It's not the center of my attention now, not because I'm, I'm crazy or because I lost it. No, I, I, I haven't lost the interest completely, but uh, there are much more interesting, much more burning questions now. That's why I'm simply, I'm not interested in my own biography or music making. Uh, in even music teaching, uh, try to understand me. That's not necessary now. So, what are your burnings? What are your new uh, quests? What's inside you? That I you listen explore? to the music a lot. Hmm? I listen to the music a lot because for my own. But my choice is mostly vocal music. I love singing, and I've been, it's been, I've, I've loved it since I was a schoolboy. And I find this music. I simply learn it a lot. And then what I'm doing, I'm uh, improving something, little reparations in my apartment, or probably I do some yoga things. So something which I've never, I wouldn't be unable to do uh, in my normal uh, schedule. But now it's much more interesting. And also the only investment is, uh, which is worth now, is investment in yourself. Yes. Absolutely. Probably in your physical self. Right. So that's why you, you see you see my you see my white uh, white hair. So it was a, a kind of <laughs> curiosity because of curiosity. I'm I'm great, but not that great. So I decided uh, that's why I decided to change to change it. Maybe tomorrow I will I will decide to go to be black again. <laughs> You're gonna be a black I, Russian. No, black. I like yeah. gray. I like <laughs> white. I like. I think people who have it should be proud of it. We earned it. We earn <laughs> still So we're still our. <laughs> so anyway, we, let's listen to a, a fascinating recording you made a few years back in Dublin. It was the Rachmanin of a two tableau and, and C minor, up to 39, number one? Yeah. 30 years ago. 30. 30 years ago? Oh my God. Let's listen to Rachmanin of. 29, okay. 29, 29, 29. 29. Yeah.
Oh. So well played. Oh, Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So musically. Oh, well played. Wonderful. Thank you. Very wonderful. Much. wonderful, wonderful. Oh my goodness. That Very was good. Bad. I and still remember, you know what was uh, the, fi the funny coincidence was there. I, the, the program on this round was free. So I played something and then I played probably Brahms Sonata, I don't remember, something very, very big. And I felt that everything is over now. And I went backstage and suddenly there was a woman, happily, there was a woman backstage and said, did you play all, all you have in your program? Maybe you've lost, uh, you forgot about an attitude. And I said, oh my God. I have to play something else. I need to go back to stage, and so so I went back to the stage to, and played this. Very good. <laughs> so, which was it? So a problem, a problem for for a competition to forget to play some part of yeah, your program yeah, is something. Exactly. It's a big thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a big thing. Yeah. Well, at least she reminded yeah, yeah. you instead of everybody going home wringing their hands. Yeah. Like, so what happened? I'm, what happened? I'm still, yeah. <laughs> I'm thankful to her that she saved my first prize then. I got the first prize then. Oh, that's did. wonderful. Oh, that's the Dublin International, right? Competition. It was in Dublin and it was John O'Connor who was in the yeah. jury yeah. and I know I know him since then and right. I appreciate his his influence in my life a lot. He's been here in Puerto we Rico. Oh, we have to get him. Yeah, yeah. he'll come find, he'll come call join him us. John. Yeah. John is a no, great I don't know where he is guy, now, interesting but. guy. I'll, I'll track him down. <laughs> track him. So and we have a great place, great time, and great place to play probably together or just to drink wine together. Yeah, <laughs> which is a pleasure. No, that's, a, that's always a pleasure. That's always a pleasure. And uh, you're mm -hmm. night drinking. My, and we're day drinking. When is them? I will ask somebody to bring. <laughs> somebody should. <laughs> wow. We need, we, uh, yeah. we need to be taken care of. That's, that's it. Come so we'll so have, uh, you know, you play one of the pieces that I love so much, uh, the Liebestod, the arrangement of Liszt, Wagner's, you know, last scene of the <coughs> Don't Tristan forget it. Solver. I think he's going to play some Kapustin. Oh, that's, we we'll end with that. But because she loves Kapustin, so I we have do, to give because her. It's but kind before of that, yeah. let's listen to the Liebestod. Uh, arranged by Liszt Wagner, played by Pavel. And <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Thank you. 
who are some of us are crying here. This is from Tristan Unisolde, the last scene, the Liebestag uh, of Wagner arranged for the piano by Franz Liszt. One of the great I love this music very much. Of music yeah. ever written. It's just mm -hmm. it was singing. Glorious. Just glorious. He was singing. He really was singing to this. It affects everyone. Yeah. Oh, look at him. Look at him now. Look. He wants some love. He wants some love. <laughs> <laughs> we are pianists. We are very lucky people because we can really play so much and in so different styles. And if we want something else, yes. we can make transcriptions. We are able right. to really do a lot of good things. A lot of wonderful so, things. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're and that's why I repertoire. Mm -hmm. yes. I'm very happy to have this ability, and also I like to go to different and un, un, uh, undiscovered fields. For yes. me. So that's why I decided to go to Kapustin, by the way. Oh, let's have Kapustin, because that's like Jan's it. favorite. Well, I kind of like it because it fits so well. Uh, in the yeah, yeah, it does. It's it's so it's classical, but it's yes. jazz. It's jazz at the same time. Wonderful. It's a play? jazz this thing, but it's not jazz because jazz is improvisation. Yeah. But this is everything is written there. Yeah, this is cool. Cool. Oh, oh, yes. Yes. It's just it has it's a jazz horn. Oh, is... Ampecha is excited. Kapustin, we're going to hear him. <laughs> this is from this uh, suite in old style. By yeah, it's, it's suite in old style. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. The bourree on all the way to the end. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the bourree. Yeah.
Mira, I, I still remember. I, I want to share this with our listeners and people of music who are listening to us. Uh, Kapustin is a wonderful Russian, alive today. I need to track him down yes. because I would like to meet him. And he took all this wonderful themes of uh, American jazz, uh, just general jazz, and he wrote every single note. In, so you read it, and when you interpret that, and whoever, it, it's exactly the same. It's totally written jazz. And there is so much on YouTube with Kapostin that yes. you can literally yes. hear him for hours, mm -hmm. yes. which I have done because yeah, it's I a, Yeah, it's a surprising, a surprising talent because he had, and you can hear that, a great, great upbringing, very traditional upbringing in Moscow Tchaikovsky Conservatory under Professor Goldenweiser and wow. Rubach. And he was famous for a great playing since then. But then he switched in probably late 60s and 70s. He switched. He was born in 30 something and, and he's still alive. Yes, I think and he's, he's a, switched a year to... older than I am. Older. <laughs> so and he's still active and he and you are still active and he's still active and, and uh, uh, writing music and he is a great in great demand because we really need something new and he is able to write in a very very comfortable manner but also it is a very very effective manner right. everything light. I know from him so is light that, yes. and you know mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. of the era that you know so many of us artists you know want to paint doom and gloom and write things about doom. I, no, mm -hmm. this is so light. It's so beautiful. Yes, you're right. It just takes yeah. your heart out and makes it float around. And you just feel mm -hmm. good when you hear this music. Yes, I and agree completely challenging. with you. Yeah, yeah but you know... It difficult is... music to oh, play. There he there is. He is. I love that man. <laughs> I think he is wonderful. It represents uh, not a superficiality, yeah, yeah, I agree. Because uh, really, uh, I, as an artist, so many people said, you know, why do you paint with such lovely colors and you're always in pinks and blues and whatever? Because the world is miserable. Let's make it as happy as we can. We're supposed, that's our <laughs> that's job. That's our job. <laughs> to make it wonderful. Artist, yeah. Oh, wow. he, uh, he's a great person. Right. Right. And I hope he is, and he has his own recordings, and he's a, he was a great pianist. And I don't know if he still plays, but there are still plenty of recordings uh, on YouTube. You can find his, and you you immediately de detect a huge, huge technique and huge brain. <laughs> well, mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. play him very well. So well, and he is yeah, so yeah, difficult. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah. is one Very difficult. Good. I wish I played better. Okay. Well, I <laughs> Thank think, you so uh, much. Uh, I, I still think... remember it was a very difficult, challenging for me, technically, quite difficult. Where was and this so... performance, Pavel? When or where? 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 How it was in Moscow. Uh -huh. Yeah, it was in Moscow. There was a, there was a joint um, concert. Uh, it was a very very concert. There was a f festival, traveling festival, which is called the Reformers, and they traveled in very very different points of the world. And so I played a very unusual program of uh, uh, Bertolt Brecht, Kurt Weil music yeah. for for one of his. Uh, I forgot, forgot how how you call it drama which everybody knows Mickey Messa if you know the dry yes, 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 right. yes. Yeah. so I played with Ten four years. saxophones with a great music -ram, pam, 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 something like that yeah. and then I played this <laughs> ah that's fun that's supposed to be yeah, it's wonderful. Yeah. great it's good memory uh, Kurt Weil is wonderful I love yeah, it yeah 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 it's wow. just wonderful yeah. wow mm -hmm. what a great musical <laughs> after noon evening we're having together. we're having together thank you, know, you so I like much schubert wagner yes. and and kapustin so it, it all can coexist for us so it is a big pleasure we're, yeah. we're yes. happy people. that's Absolutely. right and thank that's you so much my, for you. my my all my warmth all my heart to you thank, thank you thank you Paolo. Oh, it has Paolo. been great well, wonderful to, to spend this time with you and hear you play has so enjoyed wonderful. so much talking to you, yes. hearing you, mm -hmm. enjoying you. your playing. <laughs> Hope You're to be wonderful. 
back soon together, real together. Mm. We'll Let's together. hope all these planes will go yeah. for that's flight. Right. And we'll be together, play together, Absolutely. sing together again. And big hugs, air hugs. Virtual hugs. Big hugs. hugs and stay safe. Stay you safe. safe. Thank with you. With your wonderful you, weather, with your wonderful people around, which yeah. I love and my love, and with, with, with your host, you and um, Janet. So please, my best, best, Thank best you. wishes. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Yes. We Wonderful miss you to too. We you. miss you too. Wonderful. Thank you so. Thank you so much. Well, we have a Ooh. wonderful, another wonderful evening oh, with my Pavel Nesasian. What a great guy. He's super and he's, and he's fun. And he's so, and so talented. Talented and everything. And you see, he is, you know, this was recorded uh, in uh later broadcast but he was in moscow and it was so easy to get through the whole thing with him you know oh, he's that a wonderful, wonderful guy yeah, yeah, wonderful yeah, guy yeah. and i i think that it's so great that we are bringing out yes. uh and by talking to these very talented very talented people that you know you, yes, come, you buy your ticket absolutely. and you go they go on the stage you hear them you clap and then you leave, then you leave. but here Exactly. You can be with them, you can feel them, them, you can be in their homes in the with home. them, you can just they can see express them with their, their feelings own and how are the feeling and through all, all of this and the their experience the and give us it's a really, chance. It's it's yeah, it's really very exciting. I think so, it is wonderful. Yeah. Well, my so dear thank you friend. so much, everybody uh, <laughs> live from the Cannon Club. Please tune in tomorrow at six PM. Uh, for another wonderful, wonderful adventure in music uh, around the piano, the Cannon Club. We're going to have Pedro Diaz, the oboe, uh, oboist of the Metropolitan Opera House Orchestra. That happens to be Puerto Rican. Thank you. Take Thank care. Thank you so much. So much.